We're taking a look at the 100K portfolio on Monday, August the 11th. Top trades, we've got Cobra Crude Long. This is the money management algorithm version, so it got in at a better price. Up a little bit, we'll see what happens with crude oil. It's been very weak lately amidst the geopolitical concerns in the Middle East. Uh, we've got Canadian dollar short, sitting on a loss on that trade. DAX Night Trader was profitable last night. See the trade there. Up 362.50 euros. And stock index swing. This is one of our favorite ways to trade the E-mini S&P. And there's a day trade version. You see the day trade version right here. Hasn't traded in a while. It's very selective. Uh, but when it works, it works pretty good. It has a history of working well. And you see we're long at 1932.50. Market has been has, has been in a downtrend the last couple of weeks. And uh, we have a Friday started a kind of a bounce. And so there's some follow through today. And we'll see what happens. This trade is the stock index swing that closes at the end of the day. So at 4 o'clock, we send a market order and get out the open of the last bar of the day. And I want to show you the results for that over the past year or since the since the bull market started. Here's the results just since the past year. This works well back to the beginning of the E-mini S&P. Uh, but for the past year, there's been 53 trades, so about one trade a week on average. Up 5,000 a contract. That's inclusive of slippage and commission. Those are good results for a, one E-mini S&P contract. Day trading in a nice average trade profit again this is inclusive of $25 round turn slippage and commission so for a day trade system to have $120 average trade profit that's really really good on the e-mini S&P and a reasonable drawdown so this is one of our favorite ways to trade we we'll take a look at the non day trade version as you can see the day trade version gets out the end of the day no matter what right here there's an end of day exit right here there's an end of day exit end of day, end of day, while the swing trade will hold positions. And so I'm going to take a look at the overnight version. Here is the overnight version of the strategy. It's We just trade this on .d data, which is just uh, day session data, even though we hold positions overnight. And you can see that it's holding trades longer. It does not hold trades over the weekend. So if we get to Friday, uh, we end up exiting at the end of the day. And so we actually will exit at the open of the last bar of the day which is 15 minutes before the close that's how we exit and so you see the gap sometimes provide additional profits right in this in this situation um, the market was short the market chopped around for a few days and then there's a gap down and and uh, that's one of the reasons why we like swing trades sometimes you get stopped out but what are the results over the past year these are the results over the past year, almost twice as much profit as the day trade version. Uh, there have been 10 less trades. Since we don't exit trades at the end of the day, we keep holding them. And we, we get 43 trades over the past 12 months and a $2,700 drawdown. So that's a reasonable drawdown. Uh, you see the largest winning trade has been bigger than our profit target. Our profit target is 1,000 on both of these systems. And these winning trades, largest winning trades come when there's an overnight gap. Um, and our largest losing trade is 1,025. So it, overnight gaps over the past year have not hurt us. It, it hasn't gone past our stop loss overnight. Just trading on the day session data. And here is the equity curve. So a nice equity curve over the past year. Very selective system. Nice average trade profit. And so these are two of our favorite ways to trade the E-mini S&P. These strategy. This strategy is in the nine system portfolio. And we also add the day trade strategy. Uh, to the 100k portfolio so if you're looking for a way to trade the e-mini S&P uh, here is here is one of the ways we recommend